Now, it is one of the most contentious of all banker bonuses, the one being awarded to the chief executive of RBS, the bank largely owned by the taxpayer. The government has been under pressure to block the full £2 million payout that Stephen Hester could have been awarded. In the last few minutes, Channel 4 News has learned what bonus he is going to get. Sarah Smith has it. She's with us here. What is it? Well, they're going to announce it within the next hour or so, but I can tell you now it is 3.6 million shares which at today's prices equates to about £963,000. So it is less than a million pounds. The Prime Minister said he wanted it to be under a million, but it's not less than a million by very much. It is half as much as he could have been awarded, but it will still cause a huge row about fat cap pay, of course, because it is a largely publicly owned bank. If you consider him to be a public servant, as some people do, because he's working for the taxpayer, and you compare that to public sector pay freezes, some, a bonus that looks like it's nearly a million pounds still sounds like a huge amount of money. The problem is the comparison is really with other bankers and no other bankers are really having to manage what he's having to manage, except possibly Lloyd's. And so one wonders whether anyone else would do the job if he walked. Well, they wouldn't do it for any less money. I think that much is true. If you compare it to other bankers in the private sector, the Barclays boss, Bob Diamond, is expecting a bonus of about £10 million this year. So that puts it in some perspective. The RBS's share price has gone down over the last year. So there were people who argue that this is rewards for failure. But it's gone down because of the restructuring that Stephen Hester has been doing. What the government told them to do, getting rid of the investment arm. And most people in the city consider he is doing a very good job. So they would argue he's worth the money. Taxpayers might find it difficult to And guess what? While you were speaking, RBS have just confirmed the figure you've given us. Sarah Smith, ahead as ever. Christian.